there, my little chicken nuggets, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Ned. Welcome back. This is Cooking with Ned, and I am Ned. For the next few weeks, you will be following me on my delicious journey as I do my best to try and figure out how to cook. I accidentally told my best friend Lydia that I know how to cook, and now I'm cooking for a huge party at the end of the month, so here's hoping we learn something. Now, last week we cooked a cake that didn't actually turn out very well. It looked like something between a meatloaf and a lawnmower. So, it was a no-go. But, this week we will be doing something different, but kind of similar. Today we are going to be cooking pancakes. That's right, the cake of the pan. Pancake! If you don't know what a pancake is, just imagine a waffle, but without the little squares inside. If you don't know what a waffle is, well, it's like a pancake but with little squares inside. Make sense? Perfect! Now, we only have three ingredients today which makes it easy, because I only can count to three. I have no idea what's past that one, two, three. Toothbrush? See, I don't know. Anyway, our three ingredients are this ready-made pancake batter, water, and chocolate chips. Pretty simple, right? So, what I'm going to do is turn this griddle on nice and hot. Then I'll pour some batter and water into this bowl. Once the batter begins to look like a mud puddle in July, then you know it's good. Next step is to add the chocolate chips, aka cocoa raindrops. I like to add at least two pounds per pancake, but if you want more, then you can add more. Now we're going to throw these on the hot griddle, and wait, oh, looks like this one is ready to flip. Ow, goalie! How am I supposed to flip it? What's the box say? It says flip pancake. How? With what? Mind control? Do I ask politely? Dear Mr. Pancake, would you, whenever you're free, kindly flip yourself over so I can consume you with a hungry and fiery rage, please? That's it! Nothing's working! I might as well give up! Don't give up. Ah. 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 Oh, hi, Maisie. Hey, Ned. What's got you so flustered? I don't want to talk about it. Ned, talk to me. I don't want to. Ned, spill it. Okay, fine. I just spent forever making my pancake batter, and now I can't even flip it. I have no idea how. Don't you have a spatula? A spatty whaty? A spatula. It's a flat tool used to flip things. Is this it? Um, nope. That's a shoe. Is this it? That's the same shoe. This? Yes, that, yeah. Now use it to flip the pancake. What? Wow! That was incredible! I told ya. Now why did you not want to answer me when I asked you what was wrong? I don't know. I guess I thought I didn't need help. Oh, Ned, don't ever be afraid to ask for help. Speaking of that, did you see the second step in the super duper recipe book? Ah, uh, yes. The recipe book for all good things. Let me see. Mmm. Ah, there it is. Okay, the second step says something about talking? Talking to who? God? Of course. Now, do you remember the story of Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 1? I think so. But I wouldn't mind hearing it again. Sure thing, Ned. Well, there was a woman named Hannah, and she really wanted to be a mother. That's great. How many kids does she have? Well, zero. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, it's definitely a bummer. What makes it worse is that there were people that would make fun of her because she couldn't have kids. That's awful. Right? And that went on for years, till one day Hannah couldn't take it anymore. 
She traveled to the temple and began to do something very important. Can you guess what it was? Start cleaning? What? No. <laughs> oh, that's what my mom does when she's upset. So what did Hannah do? She began to talk to God. She started to cry and pray to God that she would be able to have a kid. And while that was happening, a priest by the name of Eli walked into the temple and saw Hannah. What happened next? Uh, he saw Hannah crying and talking, but he couldn't hear what she was saying, so he thought something was wrong with her. He was going to kick her out of the temple, but then she told him she was praying. Oh, so she was praying in her heart, not out loud? You got it. She prayed that if God would give her a son, then she would raise him to serve God in the temple just like Eli did. And guess what? Did God give her a son? Yep. Well, not right away. But Eli told her to go home and have peace because God would give her what she desired. Wow, that's incredible. Why do you think God did that? Well, Ned, just like you asked for help earlier and got it, the same is true in our relationship with God. If we need help, we shouldn't hesitate to talk to God and share what's in our heart. So, God wants us to ask for anything we want? Absolutely, but that doesn't mean that we'll always get what we want. Sometimes, God doesn't give us what we want, because there might be something better in store. But talking to God is how we learn what God has planned for us. We won't know until we ask. That's a good point. Thanks, Maisie. Step two, trust God. Got it. Ah, my pancakes are burned. Hey there, everybody. Today's big idea is step two, talk to God. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Step two, talk to God. Great job, everybody. Hey, you want to hear a joke about pizza? Sure. Mm, never mind. It's too cheesy. Ha 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 ha. Hey, what should you do if your soup is too hot? I don't know. What do you do? I add a chili pepper. Burr! Hey friends! Guess what? It turns out I started learning how to cook and bake at just the right time! My school is having a bake sale to raise money for people that don't have enough to eat. That's what a bake sale is. It's when you sell yummy goodies that people baked, and the money goes to help others. Remember our Bible story from last week? It's crazy that God is still using people to help other people. How about a yeah, God cheer? Ready? One, two... Three, yeah, God! Again! One, two, three, yeah, God! That was fun! So, for the bake sale, I decided not to bake. What I mean is, I made these delicious no-bake cookies. That's right, for these yummy cookies, you don't need an oven at all! You're forgetting something? Hmm, I'm about to be part of something really important that I hope goes really well. I really care a lot about it. I care so much that I feel like I need to talk to someone about it. But who? What do you guys think? What could I be forgetting? While I try to remember, let's check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. Our story today is from 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 4 to 20. And though our story comes from the book of Samuel, this story 
isn't about Samuel. This story took place way before Samuel was even born. It's about Samuel's mother, Hannah. For a long time, Hannah was very sad because she could not have a baby. To make matters even worse, some people even made fun of her just because she couldn't have a baby. Hannah was so upset by all of this that she didn't even want to eat. But Hannah trusted God, so she decided to take her sad situation straight to God. She prayed. She went into the sanctuary, which was where people went to pray, and she stayed there for a long time, crying and talking out loud to God. Hannah prayed so hard for so long that Eli, who was in charge of the sanctuary, thought Hannah wasn't feeling well. But Hannah told him that she wasn't sick or anything like that. She was just really sad. Eli understood and told Hannah that God was listening. Hannah went away feeling great and God heard her prayers. And by the end of the year, she had a son. She named him Samuel, which means I asked God for him. Hannah's story reminds us that God wants to hear from us. So when we don't know what to do, do you know what we can do? Step one, trust God. And then step two, talk to God. Wasn't that Bible story so good? I'm so happy Hannah was able to have a baby after all. I'm still trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything for the bake sale. Can you help me? Okay, so I need to have cookies to sell at the bake sale. Do I have my cookies? Check! I need a sign for my table. Do you see the sign that I made? Check! What else? Oh, yeah! The money from the bake sale is going to help people that do not have enough to eat. I wish we could sell lots and lots of cookies so we could donate a lot of money. Who can help me with that? Talk to God! Oh my goodness! You're right! How could I forget step two? Talk to God! I should talk to God! I should pray about this bake sale. Will you pray with me? God, I really want this bake sale to go well so that a lot of people who don't have enough to eat can be helped. Oh, and it would be cool if people love my cookies too. Thank you, God, for listening. Amen. Wow, I feel better. I'm ready to rock this bake sale. Peace out, friends. Which sauce adds the most kick? A kick? That sounds a bit scary. What sauce is it? Horseradish. <laughs> what do you call blueberries playing the guitar? Hmm, I'm not sure. What do you call it? A jam session. <laughs> God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus, to do good works, which God has prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2.10 Journey kids. Great work, Journey kids. Keep up the good work. Thanks for watching JK TV and make sure to tune in next week to see what Ned is cooking up. See you later.
up. Is that close enough? Oh yeah, that is. I just didn't see that. Should I do like the last line Don't again? Give up. Do I look at him or the camera? You're gonna wanna say that I am. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Wait, where do I look? Like right here. Is this it? Yes, that's a spatula. Now try and flip the pancake. <laughs> God has planned for us. Oh. Yeah. Hey there, everybody! Today's big idea is. Hey there, everybody! Today's. Oh. Can you see my feet if they're sticking out this way? This way. Okay. You want to hear a joke about pizza? Yes. Ha 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 ha.